is we were challenged by a lot of things on Motorama, and not the least of which was uh, first we had hired Zoltan David to be the cinematographer DP, which I was quite excited about because he had just shot Liquid Sky. And I'm thinking, oh my God, we're going to get Zoltan David. And the week before he needed to report to work, he was having dinner on Sunset, and he literally got hit by a car coming out of the restaurant. Well, now, he completely recovered, and the next time he was available, I hired him to shoot the movie uh, Jailbait. And we had a great run on that. But he wasn't available, so we needed to replace a DP, and Bruce threw himself in the middle of that and helped us find DP candidates and get that going. And by the time we finally got out to location, the first assistant director was just in La La Land. And crazy things were happening with the first AD. I mean, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's, he was a very qualified person. He was going through something in life that was making him make terrible decisions. And Bruce got us out of a god-awful mess where uh, even though we have good qualified special effects people with us and, and, and we have appropriately educated and talented crew people, the first had us in a situation where instead of doing anything that was ever pre-produced or talked about ahead of time, a last minute decision is being made where we're taking a big tire and setting it on fire and then having the little boy like walk through the smoke for a shot that the director had conceived, which the first AD setting up without any pre-production, without any talking to Bruce, without any talking to me. And Bruce sees this and, 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 and says, you light a tire on fire, you're creating a carcinogenic smoke. You don't ask a little boy to walk through a carcinogenic fire. It's like the stupidest decision you could ever make, ever, ever, ever. And sure enough, uh, when we got back to L.A., the guy was so embarrassed, he doesn't even show up to work anymore for the L.A. unit and doesn't even give us a courtesy call. And now Bruce is uh, on the set being the AD <laughs> and delivering the picture.